Now, mate, quite a few variables for 2013, uh, driver movements, race formats, but the obvious one is the manufacturers. Finally, we have Holden and Ford with some opposition. How is V8 Supercars going to achieve parity? We've got different aero, different engines. How do you see it working for the first few rounds? I think it's a big challenge, I really do. It's never been more different, has it, when you consider that there are quad cam engines coming in, different weight of the engines, centre of gravity will change, obviously torque curves, fuel economy. I would imagine early, we're never gonna see a bigger split in parity from the teams that are doing it right to the teams that are still developing. And of course, V8 Supercar can't make instant concessions for new teams coming in to bring the teams doing it well back to the pack. Yeah. It just doesn't happen. No. I mean, Red Bull don't have their wings taken off because they've got better aero. So yeah. there has to be some work done by the teams to catch up. Yeah. But at the same time, we don't want this enormous gulf between the cars at the front and the back of the field being a parity issue. I think it's probably gonna take six months before we can do a true assessment. Yeah. Aero testing's been done as well, but it's the toughest ever equation and may well be we might not ever revisit the parody we've become so accustomed to having. Yeah, well, I mean, when the Project Blueprint came in, that was what it was all about. And I've just raced in a parody formula, really, and it's very, very hard to, to try and get that because each car has its strengths at certain circuits. And for me, I think the big question mark is over AMG. You know, up until Christmas, we hadn't even seen one in the country. So when the, when the Nissan first came out, and this is what we're hearing on the grapevine, that aerodynamically, it was quite inferior. Now Holden and Ford have done their homework you know, with, with VF, FG. They don't want to be, as you say, pulled back to try and help the Nissan. They want to have the, the, the advantage on them come Clipsal time. So the Nissan subsequently, a couple of days at Gisborne, uh, I think down the runway, has caught up a little bit. But I agree, what for me is going to be the, the, the big difference is the engine. How with such a, a different engine can we achieve equality with the, the you know the, the current push rod V8 of the Holden and Ford? It's not going to be easy. And you're right, and of course quad cam motors tend to make their power higher up the rev range than a stock block V8 push rod engine with a single cam. So, you know, are there concessions and revs that need to be considered? And really, until we get through probably six events, it's impossible to assess because can you imagine the, the reverse situation if AMG and Nissan turn up and dominated the first four or five yeah. races, there'd be a massive outcry. Yeah. Well, here's another one for you. Do we want the cars to be exactly even? Do we want 100% perfect parity? Do we want to head to a category that some cars are a little bit stronger, you know, at a circuit with more progressive corners or, or a circuit with longer straights, which hopefully will encourage more overtaking? Interesting times ahead, but fortunately, men much smarter than us have the problem. Correct. Very fortunate. <laughs> Unfortunately, where no one knows what's you know what the four valve engines are going to produce, um, you know if, if it's going to be more or less than what we have to chase, and uh, you know we're still you know some of the guys coming in quite late, you know with cars not being released till January, um, aero wise it's it's going to be hard work, um, not not just for them but for the whole championship to, to try to make it a, a, a good test. Um, you know technically how do, how do you balance those cars? We've got the the technical nous we've just got to use it but it's doing it fast enough to have it not affect uh, cars in the you know the, the championship as whole so we don't want the nissan and mercedes coming in and being at the back of the grid we want them and their partners to enjoy their experience here uh, parity for sure it's something we're going to keep an eye on and we, we want the racing to be uh, to be close and equal uh, but i'm sure with uh, the people we've got involved in the involved in the series We'll be able to achieve that um, by one way or another. The mechanisms are there to, to achieve parity and we'll all be working hard to have that. We want a level playing field. Considering the old days and uh, of parity is such a boring subject and one-sided, you know, um, and so much passion involved, so it's difficult. But there will be parity arguments for sure. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I know that uh, V8 Supercars works extremely hard on, on getting the parity um, as good as they possibly can, but I think until we get on track, there's only a certain amount that you can test on a on a runway and engine dynos and, and whatever else. And until you get out on the track, um, you know, I think it's going to probably take a little bit uh, a little bit to sort out. But um, I think I think they should have it pretty close straight up. We haven't seen all the all the cars out in the track yet, so uh, clearly the different manufacturers haven't been on the same track at the same time and. Um, I guess it will be initially, I mean that's just a guess, but 
uh, you know, there's, they've got some good ideas, obviously, to, to control it, and which sounds good. And, um, and obviously, they're going to want to make sure it's, as, it's exactly what it is now because, uh, you know, that's basically where the success has come from, what we're running at the moment, how, how competitive it actually is, and um, we want to continue that for sure. So uh, it's going to be interesting the first couple of rounds seeing who's, who's where and who's what and, and whatever, and I'm sure they're going to be uh, all over it the first part of the year. It, it could be an issue. I, I think that um, they've done everything they can to make sure that parity isn't an issue, and, and if, as long as they stay on top of it, I, I think that you know we, we should be able to keep that word out of, out of too much of the politics. Uh, not if they do the job right. Um, you know, I've driven both cars, and the engines are pretty pretty much the same. I think the Ford makes a little bit more power. It's probably got a bit more drag. So you know, obviously, with the aero testing coming up, they'll they'll had a chance to tweak that whole whole thing and. They've got it right before. They should be able to do it over the four cars. Uh, I'll tell you at the end of next year.